Hello guys, welcome back. My name's Sander and today we are recapping game two of the Stanley Cup Finals. I'm recording outside again, so once again if there's any background noises, nothing really I can do. And once again, got the New York Rangers Ryan McDonough shirt, so you know what this means. Tampa Bay wins 3-1 to one over the Montreal Canadiens. Now heading into the game, something important to note, Alex Kalorn, I believe he blocked a shot in game one and he's out for game two, which is, I mean, he's a top six forward, so that definitely hurt them, I think, and uh, his absence was noticeable in the game. But anyway, Kalorn out, Matthew Joseph in, and with that out of the way, let's talk about the game. So the first period was relatively quiet. There were no goals scored. Montreal was out shooting Tampa 13 to six. Vasilevsky was really good. Uh, there were some penalties in the first, mostly uh, Tampa Bay power plays, but they weren't able to convert on any of them. And the real action started towards the end, where Eric Chernak and Paul Byron took coincidental minor penalties for roughing, and then Ryan McDonough takes a double minor for high sticking. So that's a huge, first it was 4 on 3 power play for Montreal, and then 5 on 4, uh, including, like I said, McDonough's double minor. But they were able to kill it off in the first and then heading into the second as well. The penalty did carry over, but luckily Tampa kills it off. Now, in Alex Kalorn's absence, obviously somebody needed to step up. And it was Tyler Johnson who was pushed up from the fourth line to the second line. He was playing with Stamkos and Sorelli this game. I think he was amazing. He was blocking shots and on this play, he works the puck uh, to the point where Anthony Sorrell has it. He wrists it through the screen, scores! 1-0 Tampa, locker side on Price, and the Lightning lead 1-0. Then later in the second period, Mikhail Sergachev with a pretty bad hit on Arturi Lekanen. It was a good distance away from the boards, but strong enough so that Lekanen fly in and he hit the boards. It was a pretty brutal hit, and he got two minutes for interference, goes to the box, Montreal to the power play. On the power play, uh, Nick Suzuki has it at the point with a weak backhander and it just sneaks through Vasilevsky. Went off the stick of McDonough and through the five hole. Vasilevsky was clearly frustrated with himself. A pretty soft goal to give up. Uh, and yeah, with that, Montreal ties the game in the second period. Now, at the very end of the second period, this goal had me fired up. Philip Deneau sort of with a turnover and it's picked up by Barclay Goodrow who enters the offensive zone. He throws it cross crease, pretty much no time left, Blake Coleman dives, bats at it, scores! 2-1 Tampa, Blake Coleman with a diving goal, buzzer beater, less than one second left. It actually turned out to be the game winning goal so everything about that goal is perfect. 2-1 Lightning. And now heading into the third, it was relatively quiet. Uh, Tampa sort of evening out the shots because uh, at the end of the second period, I'm pretty sure the shots were like 28 to 7 Montreal. I think it was something like that, and the game was tied 1 1. Uh, it was honestly crazy. You'd think that Montreal was this offensive superpower, while Tampa was this defensive opportunistic team, when in reality it's the other way around. But Tampa sort of evening out the shots. Uh, Montreal still had a ton, I believe, towards the end of the game. They had like 40 on Vasilevsky, or like, yeah, I think 43, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, Tampa was able to shut it down, but this play, four minutes left, it's just a very sloppy play from Montreal. Joel Edmondson behind the net, miscommunication with Jeff Petrie, sort of just throws it there, Pilot at the side of the goal, scores. Uh, yeah, makes it three to one. It's a very bad goal. You can't give up goals like that, uh, especially to a team like Tampa. Uh, Price had no chance at stopping it, but yeah, with that, Tampa takes a 3-1 lead, and from there, they just hold on. Uh, they had a few opportunities at the empty net, but I believe Sorelli had one great one and it just went wide. But with that, Tampa holds on, the clock runs down, and they take a 2-0 series lead. And I think that this game was extremely important for them. Not only because they now lead 2-0 as opposed to having a 1-1 series. Uh, they proved that they are a versatile team. They can win blowout games. I mean, last game, game 1, can you really call that a blowout? Maybe. But they did win pretty big. 
while this game was a lot closer despite there only being uh, two less goals, I still think it was so much closer. Tampa was getting way outshot, Vasilevsky bailed them out, but they proved that they can win in multiple different ways. And with that, two more wins, just two more, and they go back to back. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you really enjoyed. Follow my Instagram and my Twitter, links in the description. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.